Hi everyone, Neil here for our latest unpacking video. Roselle is not here, but let's carry on. And by the way, this is from Vancouver's largest consignment store. All right, we're gonna start with box number one here. See what's in here. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, we have some very nice embroidered, that's either an infant's dress or a doll's dress. I don't know which. I guess whoever fits it. Um, and a crocheted baby set with the bonnet, the jacket, and the booties, of course. Another uh, small girl, small child's uh, shirt cap from the X-Files, and another cap from 95.8 something or other. <laughs> I like the X-Files cap, so let's go with that. Um, this is a pair of ladies' pants, maybe from the 70s, because they're kind of satin-esque. This is a, like a lot of clothes in here. Okay, this is nice. Check this out, and it's by Supertramp. Uh, M&M Records. Must have been a promotional something. And another uh, kind of Letterman style jacket from Capital Radio with music power on the back. Oh my gosh, okay. It's one more jacket. Um, and this says Capital 95.8 FM. Precisely. Alright, now we've got a lot of Paperwork. I'll try not to talk when I'm unpacking the paper. <laughs> okay, a silver vase. I'm going to move over just a little That's bit. Very... This is heavy. Oh, that is a metal uh, silver vase. Very unique. And this is a smaller version of the unique metal vase. I just want to say, I know it's very hard not to talk when I'm packing the paper because I know that's really noisy, but I really want to. All right, we have two teacups. Hopefully, uh, we also have two saucers in here somewhere. And, and a whistle. Whistles, by the way, can be very collectible depending on who they're from or who made them. This is from the Acme Thunderer Company in England. <clears throat> and if you're ever familiar with Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner, Acme made everything. Mm. Big old pillar candle that's been used. Why it was packed? I don't know. Okay. Another big old pillar candle. Oh. Okay, uh, some more teacups. This is the Royal Albert, which is very nice. Again, hopefully there's some saucers. Two more cups. Again, no saucers. Oh, this looks kind of square. Maybe it's saucers. 
And so it is. Yes, they are the sauces. And they match, which is great. This is by Grimwads. Uh, this is Rose China, which obviously has the rose on it. There we go. <clears throat> Royal Standard, the old windmill. Oh. This is the old curiosity shop, which usually features something from Dickens. This is very nice. Uh, this is Royal Albert, and it's called the Christmas Bird. I don't know if you can get a picture of the inside uh, here, Kristen. Teacups have become very collectible. People collect them because of the company who makes them. People collect them because of the pattern. Good heavens. I don't know what this is, but it's heavy. Oh. It's a sculpture, a female bust. Yeah. With no information on who the artist is. This is our last package to, un to unpack in this box. There's a very small Moorcroft vase and another vase, uh, it has a clover leaf on it. I'm not familiar with who that company is. <clears throat> okay. Let's try another box. you can uh, get a pic of this, uh, Kristen. It might all fall. It's a lot of rings. There's some watches. Um, if you watch um, Young and the Restless, uh, Catherine Chancellor used to wear big rings like this. So we call them Catherine Chancellor rings. Um, there's also a bag of, wow. A great many bracelets. Hang on. Well, that one's quite nice. I think that's wood. Wow. And Some very beautiful um, necklace pieces. Wait, we're not done. Um, this is a pendant. This is a heart pendant. And this is uh, quite a beautiful pendant with a, I think that's a sterling chain. Now what else is in this box? Paper. Oh. A pair of Marc Jacobs sunglasses. Those are very nice. Another pair of glasses. Uh, these have the Dolce and Gabbana uh, label on them. They could be, we always investigate to make sure um, they are who they say they are. A rogue bracelet. Ooh. 
a pair of very nice leather gloves. Um, no label on the inside though. Another doll dressed just randomly in with the jewelry. <clears throat> Another pair of glasses. Um, Dolce and Gabbana. And another pair of glasses. Um, these are by BB. I think that's how you say that store. Hang on. Another pair of glasses. Oh, these are by Michael Coors. Yeah, they have his name on the arm. Yeah. Um, believe it or not, we often sell uh, vintage glasses that are prescription because people just like the frames and then they go have their own prescription put in there. And a Hummel lamp. I don't know if there's yeah. a shade in here. Uh, Hummel is very collectible. People again collect it because it's Hummel. They collect it because of where it's made, usually Germany. And this is our last item. And it is a matching Hummel table lamp. Okay, hopefully I did okay without Roselle, uh, because that's about it for today. And we put out videos every week. You can check our YouTube channel. channel. So like and subscribe when you see the little bell icon, so you'll get notifications when we next upload. Thank you, see you next week.